I am replacing my old stainless steel prop with a Quicksilver Q4. Here's the specs. It's basically a Mercury Spitfire X7 equivalent. It's a, the exact same prop. It's just a rebranded, re same alloy and everything. Everything's the same. <clears throat> now, this is my old prop. It's a Michigan wheel, 19 pitch, three bladed, um, 13 and a quarter inch diameter. I don't know if you can see there. Um, I find that this prop needs, I mean, well, I think I could get better hole shot with this um, Q4 versus this um, old Michigan wheel. Um, hopefully, I don't sacrifice too much top end with the four, uh, four bladed prop. Um, also, I'm going down a pitch well, from 19 to 17. So, um, it'll spin faster. Right now, well, right now with the Rapture, I'm getting 5,300 to 5,400 RPMs uh, wide open throttle. I'm hoping to get 6,000 out of this one. Um, hopefully it doesn't sacrifice too much top end speed. And maybe, maybe I could gain some top end speed, maybe one or two miles per hour, but I'll be happy. If it stays the same, I'll be happy. As long as the handling improves and the whole shot improves. Um, also, with the Q4, I also bought a um, Quicksilver um, Flow Torque Flow Torque 3 hub kit. Um, I used to have, well, I used the old um, Flow Torque 2 before, which is a one piece Delrin sleeve, sacrificial sleeve. Um, it was okay, it rattled a little bit when shifting gears from reverse to neutral or forward to neutral. Sometimes it uh, made a rattling noise. This new Flow Torque 3 hub has, is made out of two pieces and attached by a little metal um, rods. Um, I guess it um, gives it a little bit more um, flex. Hopefully it'll absorb some of that vibration. Now I got some 2,4C grease here by Mercury. I'm just gonna slather this uh, the splines of the shaft with a few squirts of it. Uh, you know, I'll just rub some of that in there, nice and liberal. It's basically just uh, to prevent the prop from seizing in here. That's good. That's good. Now we'll take the Delrin sleeve. Make sure this end, this end goes in first. They're nice and snug. Give it a nice. Pounding with a rubber mallet. Now this little brass washer is uh, is tapered. This is the larger end. This is smaller end. Make sure the larger end goes first. I like that. And you can go ahead and insert the prop. Now grab this piece, insert it at the end here. It's nice and snug. Take this. And insert it in. Make sure it's lined up with those little nubs that stick out. And you go ahead and 
tighten the nut. Sixty pounds, foot pounds of torque. So the reason why I did 60 foot-pounds of torque when um, the manual Mercury says to do it 55 is because I had to back, back this nut up a bit so that this tab is flush with the surface of that nut. Now I can lock it properly. So backing that nut up, I'm assuming, I have to assume that it would probably around, the torque would be probably around 55 foot-pounds. And now I can lock that nut and it's not going anywhere. That should be good. So the prop is all installed. Just uh, starting the engine up. Beginning of the spring. Make sure everything's running fine. 